What happens when one of the world's greatest engineers, the man who invented the microprocessor and helped launch the digital revolution, turns his full attention to the deepest mystery of all, consciousness itself? Federico Fagan's life reads like a modern parable. The man who helped build the computational world came to a stunning conclusion. We are not machines. In his powerful book, Irreducible, Fagin argues that consciousness is not an emergent property of matter. It is a fundamental feature of reality, woven into the very fabric of the cosmos. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into Irreducible, exploring how Fagin's journey from physics to philosophy, from silicon chips to self-awareness, has led him to a profound vision of a universe where consciousness is primary and matter is its expression. Federico Fagan is one of the great unsung pioneers of modern technology. As the inventor of the microprocessor and the touchscreen, Fagan revolutionized computing, making possible the smartphones, laptops, and devices that define our age. But his personal journey took an unexpected turn. After years at the cutting edge of computation, Fagan began asking questions no machine could answer. What is subjective experience? What is I? What is the spark that makes us aware, creative, alive? For a man who had spent his life building ever more powerful processors, the conclusion was astonishing. Computation can never explain consciousness. And this realization launched him into a decades-long quest to understand the mystery of mind, not as an engineer but as a philosopher of reality. In Irreducible, Fagin lays out a radical thesis. Consciousness is not reducible to physical processes. The standard scientific view holds that mind emerges from matter, that experience arises from the complex dance of neurons. But Fagan argues the opposite. He proposes that consciousness is the ground of being, the source from which matter, energy, space, and time emerge. In his words, consciousness is irreducible. It cannot be explained away, broken down, or simulated. For Fagan, the universe is not a dead mechanism that somehow gives rise to life. It is a living, conscious field in which matter is just one form of expression and subjective experience is as real, or more real, than any particle or equation. A key part of Fagin's vision comes from quantum physics. Like many thinkers before him, Schrodinger, Heisenberg, Bohm, Fagin sees in quantum mechanics a hint that reality is fundamentally non-material, non-local, and participatory. In the quantum world, Particles do not have definite properties until they are measured. Entangled systems influence each other instantaneously across space, and the observer plays an essential role in shaping outcomes. Fagan proposes that consciousness is woven into this quantum fabric, not as a byproduct of matter, but as an intrinsic feature of the universe. The wave function, the superposition, the collapse, these are not just physical events. They are moments of experience, flashes of awareness that ripple through the underlying field of being. Given his background, Fagin's critique of artificial intelligence carries special weight. He is not a Luddite or a mystic railing against technology. He's the man who built the architecture of modern computing. But he draws a hard line. AI can simulate intelligence, but it can never possess awareness. Why? Because computation is inherently syntactic. It manipulates symbols according to rules without meaning, feeling, or presence. Consciousness, by contrast, is semantic. It is about meaning, about what it is like to be. No matter how powerful an algorithm, it will never experience a sunrise, never feel love, never know sorrow. For Fagin, this is not a limitation of current technology. It is a fundamental distinction between information processing and subjective existence. So what, in Fagin's view, is consciousness made of? He proposes that consciousness is organized into conscious entities, each a center of experience, intention, and creativity. These entities are not material, though they can express themselves through matter. At every scale, from electrons to living organisms to the cosmos itself, reality is alive with nested centers of awareness. This is a kind of quantum panpsychism, where even the simplest particles possess a glimmer of proto-experience, and complexity allows for the emergence of richer, more self-reflective forms of consciousness. Importantly, Fagan emphasizes that consciousness is not just about perceiving, it's about choosing, creating, and evolving. We are not spectators of the universe. 
we are participants in its unfolding. One of the most beautiful aspects of Irreducible is Fagin's insistence that freedom and love are central to the nature of consciousness. In a purely mechanistic universe, freedom is an illusion, and love is a chemical accident. But in Fagin's participatory cosmos, freedom is real. The freedom to choose, to create, to co-author reality. And love is not just an emotion, it is the organizing principle of conscious evolution. The force that connects entities, builds complexity, and fosters unity and diversity. For Fagin, the universe is not just an information system, it is a communion of living beings, reaching ever greater depths of awareness, beauty, and care. In this vision, human consciousness is not the end point, it is a gateway. What does this mean for you? It means you are not a machine, you are not an algorithm, you are a conscious entity, irreducible, unrepeatable, essential. Your awareness is not an epiphenomenon, it is part of the deep architecture of the cosmos. Your choices matter because they shape the evolution of being. Your love matters because it is the glue that binds conscious entities together. And your existence matters not because of what you produce, but because of what you are. A luminous point of experience, a node in the living network of reality. Fagin's message is ultimately one of profound dignity, not only for humans but for all conscious life. Federico Fagin's Irreducible invites us to reconsider everything we think we know about mind, matter, meaning, and machine. It asks us to remember that consciousness is not something we have, it is what we are. That the universe is not dead or indifferent, but alive and creative. And that at the heart of all things there is an irreducible presence, luminous, free, and woven into the quantum dance of reality. If this spoke to something deep within you, Share your thoughts in the comments. Have you ever felt that you are part of something vaster, something alive? And if you want to keep exploring the hidden links between consciousness, physics, and the evolving universe, subscribe. Because the greatest frontier is not out there, it's within you.